What's up guys, it's Gaming Jello. Welcome to vlog number 13. So for today, uh, let's just go right into it. My friend is the owner of a company named Unparalleled Fortitude. It's a lifestyle brand. Basically, it thrives in the idea of inspiring others to achieve their goals and their dreams. I'm also a part of this rap group called For The Free. Two of my friends are making a mixtape right now. Their group is called Capsule Corp. Pokemon Origins, 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 Origins. Po Capsule Corp, Back Support, Stacks of Porn. What you're listening to right now is probably one of their songs, most likely. So go ahead, check them out. I'm actually on their next mixtape that's gonna come out pretty soon so pretty excited about that and also my friend Austin rage quit he's actually back with brand new content he was taking a little hiatus but now he's back he's actually doing a schedule that's similar to mine Monday through Friday with weekends to himself you know to chill and hang out do whatever he does May probably record some videos or something go check his channel out he's doing division right now I watched his first episode pretty funny it's it was more so like a playthrough really but I support him keep doing what you're doing man and also I'm part of this group called VGH it stands for video gamers Hawaii they've been been really supportive in what I do which is YouTube you know making gaming videos making these vlogs so I appreciate you guys thanks a lot thanks for listening to me rant by the way this is either going to be part of that same video or part of another video like a new video I like to call this segment of my vlogs what's trending where I talk about what's trending Microsoft announced today that they would absolutely love to cross platform with the PS4. Meaning, if I had Destiny for the PS4 and you had Destiny for the Xbox One, we can literally play it together. When I heard this, I seriously thought it was a dream come true. Honestly, one of the things that I would have loved to do was something like this. Especially being on the other end of my friends who don't have the same console as me. Fun fact, DC Universe actually already does this. With the PS4 being able to play with PC players. The first game that'll test out this system is Rocket League. Needless to say, this is something I'll definitely back up. I mean, who wouldn't want to play with their friends on other platforms, right? I believe I read somewhere where it said that Xbox players do have a choice to just play with the Xbox One, which is understandable because people are really, really into their consoles, thus the console war. But it's their choice if they want to do that. Sony hasn't made an announcement, you know, for their thoughts on the subject. But let's... Uh, <coughs> but let's... <coughs> But let's hope it'll be something great. Speaking of Sony, the final trailer for Civil War was released last week. We got to see new footage of Captain America and his new movie, which in turn hyped us up more for the Captain America and Iron Man team clash. We also got a closer look at Black Panther and his bulletproof suit. We finally get to see Spider-Man with the Avengers. About a year or so ago, Sony announced that they would be sharing Spider-Man with Marvel Studios. We then find out that he'll be making his debut in Civil War. Everything about his appearance, about how he was going to be introduced, the team that he's on, everything was kept secret from the public. Until last week, the internet literally blew up because they saw Spider-Man for the first time. His suit is actually straight from like the 60s comics. And on top of that, he has animated eyes. This is great because it really shows expression or emotion in Spider-Man. Before it was just a mask. Honestly, I really think this was a fantastic move by Marvel. His costume looks cool. His symbol is literally a man within a spider. And just, I don't know, it was it was pretty awesome. I think it was one of the Russo brothers who said this quote. Tom Holland, who plays Spider-Man, is as good as Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. And that in and of itself is a huge statement. We all know how RDJ is playing Iron Man. He's the best for the part. The sarcasm, the humor, he's just amazing. He's really good at it. I mean, he's a he's a fantastic actor. So to make that statement is it's got to be huge Civil War comes out on May 6th. So uh, stay tuned I'm pretty excited about the movie and I'm really excited to see the results of this film because According to Chris Evans, this movie will change the MCU forever moving on to The Walking Dead If you have not seen this past week's episode, please don't watch any further Spoiler alert just letting you know last week at the end of the episode We found out that 
Maggie and Carol were taken by the saviors after Rick's group went to one of the outposts to save one of Hilltop's people. Now this past week's episode was all about Maggie and Carol. During the course of this episode, Carol and Maggie were basically trying to figure out how to escape. Carol's plan to act religious, you know, grabbing the rosary beads and all that stuff, praying, it actually turned out in favor of them. And also the fact that Maggie's pregnant and Carol says to one of the saviors, hey, don't smoke. She's pregnant. Don't be an asshole. It, it just really added to their escape plan. We also get introduced, not, not really introduced, we also get this ominous feeling because each of the saviors are saying, we are Negan. I am Negan. And honestly, it's the most ominous foreshadow to how ruthless Negan is. I'm excited to see what comes next. Towards the end of the episode, Carol and Maggie trick the saviors into the kill room and they literally set them on fire. I thought that was freaking badass. It was amazing. And Carol's a badass to be honest. But the way that she reacted to Rick killing Primo at the end of the episode, I think she is starting to realize something about herself that she is afraid of what she's capable of doing. But yeah, at the end of the episode, Rick's group actually go into the hideout to try to save them. But by then, everything is all good. Everything is. <laughs> they're saved. They're, they freed themselves, basically. So there are only three weeks left of this season. I really can't stand the anxiety. And I know for sure that one of the main characters is going to be killed off. I have a theory on how the next two weeks are gonna play out because obviously the last episode is gonna introduce Negan he's gonna kill off somebody something big is gonna happen according to the actors from The Walking Dead the finale of season six is the darkest episode that Walking Dead has ever gone through so I know someone's gonna die in probably the most brutal way possible thanks to the comics we'll just have to wait and see again I'm super stoked about the season and I'm really excited about what's gonna happen next but also sad because I may know what's gonna happen. <laughs> um, damn, they died. Holy shit. Damn. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, I apologize for the rant earlier, either in this video or in the past video. I just have to say how I feel about it. I do these videos for myself and for those who continuously watch them. And again, my goal is to be somebody who somebody else looks up to for inspiration or for comfort or anything else like that. Just to unwind for the day, just like how I was with PewDiePie. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. I'll see you later.